Hey guys, it is Gad from Tutorial, so, um, new intro, I'm not gonna do that long one, it just got a little old. And, uh, this video, I'm not gonna be showing you how to do any effects or anything. Today, today this video, as you can probably tell by the title, is I'm just getting some people who are confused about After Effects, because I got tons and tons of messages on why is After Effects so different from Sony Vegas, why can't I cut clips and split clips in Sony Vegas? You can't in After Effects. You can split clips. I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. But um, I'm going to show you just because when I first got After Effects, I was just as confused as you guys. I had no idea. I thought it was just like Sony Vegas, but a lot better. But um, to, like there's always controversy about After Effects being way better than Sony Vegas. And it is, but Sony Vegas is also better than After Effects. Like they're both good for different reasons like neither one is better than one other but uh they definitely do difference in price alright so let me just go to new real quick alright so basically what uh... sony vegas is uh, wow i'm opening up the same clip what sony vegas is is sony vegas is a video editor just like windows movie maker i can do some effects but it, you cannot motion track them so that they're accurate so if you do wanna make really good videos w with action movies then um... you would have to use a tripod at all times for Sony Vegas and your camera can't move but um... and and kind of when you try to put like say you put a muzzle flash or like explosion or a um... or you're trying to disappear like in my dissolve video um, you cannot do any, like, you cannot, first of all, you can't even dissolve in this. Uh, it's not, this isn't that advanced program. This is basically just for, it's meant for cutting and splitting clips, getting really cool titles. You can, you can make some pretty wicked intros in this. Um, and, uh, it, it has really cool video effects. Like, it, it's really good for, it's alright for color correction, but I have to say that, uh, Adobe After Effects is a little better for color correction, but it is gr it is like the probably the top of the line, not top of the line, but top of the line uh, for for people like me, for th this kind of video editing, like it's uh, like I definitely switch from movie Windows Movie Maker over to this because Windows Movie Maker, um, it kind of loses its, its quality when it renders. This keeps its quality. You can render 1080p. It's really cool. So, yeah, this program is really good for stuff like that. You can adjust the volume. It's just good for editing. Um, Sony Vegas, you can't do, like, as much as stuff that you can do in here. Like, Sony Vegas, you cannot cut clips. You cannot split clips. Like, it's so easy in this. I can split, like, a thousand times. And I just clicked that button. So, um, yeah, it like, it's not, it's it's a lot harder to do all these stuff in Sony Vegas. But, I mean, Adobe After Effects. But the thing is with Adobe After Effects is that it is a lot better for effects. That, that's what Adobe After Effects is mainly for. It's for creating special effects or creating really cool intros to just like Sony Vegas. I think it's pretty it's alright. Uh, it, there, are, I've seen some pretty wicked intros for Sony Vegas, some pretty wicked intros for uh, Adobe After Effects but um, neither, I don't think neither one is the edge on that but uh, they do make really cool intros and stuff. Um, they're both great programs so let's go ahead and head to After Effects real quick. Um, now, I'm going to show you what I mean by you can't edit in After Effects. So I'm just going to open this clip up. Now basically what I'm opening right now is uh, the final product of what this was. I rendered it out. I clicked render. And then um, basically what I did was I just opened it up in here. And you have to do this. If Say if you're working on a big project, you're going to have to edit in here. And then you're going to have to put the video into here. Right here. So, and I'm going to tell you why right now. Because in order to edit a video, like do special effects and intros. Well, intros you really don't need to do this, but for videos. Because if you put it in a new composition, what it does, it, it, it matches the, the correct dimensions and length that your video has. So, if you try to add another clip, you're not going to see it because the video automatically ends right there. And automatically starts right there because Adobe After Effects did that for you. It only, so if you try to edit... Like say you put like a two second clip in here, this whole this whole thing right here is gonna fill up two seconds. And it's just gonna be that clip. Um, so basically, if you want to change that, go to the composition tab over here, and you can go to composition settings. Now basically, you can 
change the duration. Like, you can make it as long as you want. You could, so that you can put different clips in here. But the thing is, guys, is that it is really hard to edit. Like, like you do in Sony Vegas in After Effects. <laughs> I'm really trying to get this point across so you guys don't screw up or something like that. Which I know you guys won't, but, um, I'm just saying. But, uh, yeah, so that is, those are the differences. Um, I'm going to teach you some stuff about After Effects. You can, there, there's some really, like, here's Motion Tracker right here. You can track motion wherever you want. Like, I could probably track my mouse. Well, that was way too big. Um, I could probably track my mouse. Yeah, but track motion it takes you into a different tab. Let me see if I actually can't drag my mouse. Like right there. Like you cannot do this in Sony Vegas. Um It is not that it's not as great. See look, it's tracking perfectly. Um so basically it just it, it's a it's basically only for effects, Adobe After Effects, and uh, really cool intros. But, um, yeah, so you can also add text by going to ca character right here. Um, it's pretty much self-explanatory once you get to the text, uh, characters, and stuff like that. Um, the reason it's not responding is because I had to load all these effects over here. Um, so, yeah, it's just pretty easy to add stuff like this. Um, and then... you. To edit your whole entire composition, which is everything right now that you're working on, just go to composition. You can go to composition settings. You could change the uh, the preset, meaning how much HD you want. Um, you can preview your stuff by going to RAM preview. Because if you do say, yeah, I want, I want to, I want to watch this, you hit play. It is going to be really, really slow because it's it's rendering. So if you want to actually watch your videos you can either go up to composition and preview and ram preview or you can hit numpad O. and numpad zero is the numbers located um, all the way on the right of the keyboard those numbers in that little section not the numbers on the top the numbers all the way over right under that zero it says INS for Windows if you click it what you're gonna see is you're gonna see this little green stuff starting to load up and that means it's just, it's just getting ready. It's just, just making, it's just making that clip really smooth so that it's not going to be really, really, um, laggy. So, whenever you want to stop, you just click right here. Carver, you want to, uh, start to disappear. Click and it'll stop. And see, it's, you already have that clip loaded up. So if you want to do it again, you just hit zero and click. Carver, you want... So, yeah. It's really cool. Um... Anything, yeah, let's go over adding the composition cues. So this is your composition, right? You want to add it to your render queue. So here it is, add render queue. And then um, you want to change your render settings from best settings. Make sure everything is here. Okay. Make your output mode from lossless. This is really important. This is really, really important. Now, do not just hit OK, or do not just ignore this and just click Render, because you have two very important steps coming up. The, the the first one is pretty important as well, but you want to change your format to QuickTime. And I know QuickTime is really slow for people with with uh, Windows, uh, but Mac, it's probably perfect. Um, but the thing about QuickTime is that you can change your video format to open up with Windows uh, Media Player. It's one of the selections right here, but QuickTime has the best, uh, in my opinion, the best uh, stuff. So, click on the video output. Make sure it's on Photo JPEG and the quality is on 100. Hit OK. Make sure it's really into colors, not just uh, 256 grades of black and white. And make sure this is clicked. If you do not click this, then the whole entire video will be muted. Now click your output. This is basically where you want to save it. Save right there. Then you can start rendering. Now this is the fastest render I've ever seen.
Like, I was editing a six minute clip, six minute video, um, and uh, it rendered in five minutes. Like, it's really, really fast. I don't see how fast this goes right now. Probably, in the beginning, it's not that fast, but once it gets to, like, about here, it starts to really, really, really speed up. Like, it's already... Nah, it doesn't look like it, but it is, like, moving inch by inch. And normally with, like, Sony Vegas, it just stays at one spot for a really, really long time. So, um, I'm just going to pause it. And the good thing about this is, say you're on the computer, and you're really, really waiting for this video to end... A no little notification will pop up, like it'll go, and I'll make a really, qu it'll make a sound, and so you'll know when it's over. Or if you're downstairs, you probably couldn't hear it, or wherever you are in the house. So um, that pretty much wraps up this video tutorial. Um, I just want to thank everybody for checking this video out. Um, and oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I want to go over. We'll just say, check out our new, ch well not our new channel. It's our temporary channel. It's, well, we're going to still have it, but we're not going to use it a lot. Basically, I created a channel for my videos. Um, and my videos, uh, like, basically, it's an, it's called Tutorial So Vids. And what it is, is it's real videos. And the first movie we made was an Adobe After Effects war test, which was a little, a little video, a little goofy. Some of the stuff I still forgot to edit. Um, it wasn't professional, but, actually it was, it was professional, except for, like, the end, because I forgot, uh, a couple effects, but whatever. So anyways, it's just, um, a, ch a channel, like, if you look at our previous video, I'll, I'll put a little an an annotation that you can click. It basically, Alex will just explain everything to you, and, um, you can ignore the part with me, because I don't know what I was saying. I acted really, really high, <laughs> but, um... So yeah, it's basically just a, a channel uh, that shows you the outcome of my videos. Like, say you follow all my facts and stuff, then um, yeah, it's just the outcome. So uh, yeah, this video is getting really, really long, so I'm going to end it right now. So I will see you guys later. Have an awesome day, and goodbye.